everyone, Joshua Hamlin here at Brick Fair Alabama 2020, and today we've got a very long, massive city train layout to show you, and we've got two of the builders who worked on this, so if you guys want to introduce yourselves, then we'll dive on in. I'm Thomas from YouTube channel Hoosier Bricks. Okay. And I'm Chris from YouTube channel Bricks for Chris. Awesome. So Chris, I think your section is first here, so we'll start with you and then we'll move on to the rest of it. So just take us through what we've got here. Uh, one thing that I know stands out is all of the, the light light fixtures you've got in your city. Yeah, these are some lights I got from the brick show a few years ago and they're battery operated and it's just, it gives it a good effect, especially they, when it's dark out. They looked amazing during the World of Lights last night when they shut all the lights off in the building here and then you can turn the lights on. Right. Yeah, I appreciate it. And then what do, what do the buildings represent here? Maybe start in the, the back section there with kind of your modulars. Well, the back are basically modulars that I bought from Lego, and they're modified slightly to make them a little bit bigger. Like I got the new ones, the bookstore. Yeah. We had to add a level because it's just it was too small out of the box. Basically, they're just a Lego modular building. But, yeah, you modify and kind of add floors, that sort of thing, and just kind of make it look a little more impressive for the city. Correct, correct. And what is this row of buildings on the left side? Okay, the, the first one's my own creation, it's the Lego store. I bought one of the little sets and I was gonna expand it a bit and that's that's what I ended up with. Then the Chili's and the Martini Bar, I believe it's Brick City Depot. I just purchased the instructions and bought the parts from Bricklink. Mm -hmm. No, those look fantastic and adding kinda like the Chile some real life buildings there. Right, right, yeah, I appreciate it. And then this is sort of the centerpiece here, the Signature Motors building. Yep, the dealership, my wife, we went and bought a new car and we were sitting outside the dealership and I'm looking at it, I'm like, Wow, I want to see if I can make that out of Lego. And that's my best, like, can I say the brand name? Sure. All right, G GMC, it was a General Motors dealership. And if you go to yours, it, you'll, you'll find the similarities, but that's my reputation in Lego. And I just called it Signature Motors. That works, and what all cars do we have around the outside here? It's just B Champions. I wish I had some customs in there, but I put all this together in two weeks, so <laughs> wasn't sure I was coming. When I found out I was, I had to scramble and this is what we came up with. Oh, that's okay. That works fine. Then you've got little park areas like a, this pond over here. Yeah. And who is that in the, the boat? That's Brixar from the YouTube channel. Brixar. I think he goes by Jabo now. And I've always had him in a boat in a little pond in my layouts. And a fish and a crocodile. So Plans to expand on this at all? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Next year is going to be fun. <laughs> there we go. We'll look forward to more from you. So thank you. Keep I up the good work. buddy. Thank you. Yeah. So now we'll move down with uh, Hoosier Bricks here. You can pick up and then we'll, we'll just work through your section. I started with a Ghostbusters HQ. I like the look of a firehouse. And everybody said, don't double it, don't double it. And I'm like, I'm going to double it. So instead of it being an HQ now, now it's just a regular firehouse. And then I like to do the bridge on the water. I've done it in a couple other layouts and it turned out real nice. And... Chris talked me into doing rock work to give it some to give it some depth. Yeah, that way it's not all just kind of 2D flat the the whole yeah. thing. So now now he's trying to talk me into putting tiles on it. So that's probably the next project to tile it all off. And then we got the next building, Madhouse of Bricks. That's a brick and mortar store in my hometown. So that I copied, took pictures of it and built it identical to the building represent some like local lego stores yeah yeah and then the next hand building is my train station my wife wanted me she found some pictures off pinterest and said try to build one of these buildings so she picked two or three buildings and i just took little things from all three buildings put them all in one and that's what i come up with so Wish I had lights in it for last night. They've been trying to get me to do lights, so after seeing last night, yeah, I got to do. There you go. You got that little push now. I got to do lights. And then... I like the Toys R Us truck there. The, you don't see many of those. I almost bought another one of those at the yard sale yesterday and decided not to. I should have because I got two Lego trucks, but I've only brought one with me. And then I did like Chris... I buy more of the modulars, try to expand them, but keep them looking recognizable. That way if somebody walks and looks and they say, hey, that's a pet shop, but it's bigger. Mm -hmm. So that's what I try to do there. 
Big water section. My son loves the boats. That's why they're kind of destroyed. He was playing with it last night when we sh <laughs> when we shut everything down. And then the fishing shack, Chad's Brick Hobby from Texas. He's working on the road crew. He brought it in to place in my city. So. No, it adds so much here. It looks like it's kind of a combination of multiple of them there. Yeah, I think he, I think he used three, and changed all kinds of stuff around. So, I know he put one thing that he did. He put a little boat rental, where you can rent rent canoes or paddle boats or anything like that. So I thought that was that was pretty neat. Yeah, add some extra features and modify it. My, my daughter like take the wheels off the Bugatti and put it on a tow truck. So Somebody's not having a great day there with their car. <laughs> no, not at all. Trees, I hate building trees. So these little pine trees, they are rock solid. Like they don't come apart. So That's great for train support. They ran. They ran a big boy train on on the layout yesterday, and it swung out swung out so wide it knocked every tree down on every corner. <laughs> so that that was pretty interesting. Somebody dared me to build a four wheel drive camper and van, so I, I built a four wheel drive camper and van. You move into kind of the uh, the downtown section, sort of. Yeah. This was always. I've always liked this modular, and I, I missed it as the set, so I just I started accumulating pieces. And then I accumulated more and more, and I was like, I'm gonna make it a skyscraper. So it's four sets and then several extra floors. It, I get more compliments on that building than I do any other one. It's very eye-catchy when you first walk up. It's one of the first things you notice. So that, that's the one everybody notices. And then I, on the figures, my little girl likes to put, and she hit the stop button on the trains. Well, it's okay. It's easier to show them now, so you can talk about the train cars since we've got them here. So, but she likes to put all the specialty figs, like the hot dog guy, Batman. She places them everywhere. Little kids love them. When they walk by, they see it, they point. Oh, there's Batman. There's so. You said you want to talk about the train cars? Sure. Uh, especially, I love the, the Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, Pink Bucket Nation. I love those themed ones there. I've seen some pictures of other boxcars, and I was on a, uh, I think it's OK Brickworks. They're on Facebook. Was look, They do custom stickers, and they had the Dr. Pepper one, and I contacted him, and he was like, yeah, just tell me the dimensions. So I made the car. I was like, if I'm going to do Dr. Pepper, i got to do my drink, which is Mountain Dew. And so I did a Mountain Dew one, and then my buddy Julian who started the Pink Bucket Nation, I was like, I'm just going to do Pink Bucket Nation one as well. So we got another buddy in, in Texas who does the vinyls, and he made all the ones for the Pink Bucket. So I reached out to him. I was like, I need the Pink Bucket sticker, but way smaller. So he made them, made them one day, shipped them out the next. That way I can put them on and have them for the show. So it was kind of a last-minute thing. Oh, that's great, though. It's very colorful-looking uh, train cars. I like it. But uh, trains are my thing. As you can tell by the layout, I love the trains. I got a train yard and all that. So it's nice to get into some custom stuff on the trains. I don't do very much custom. It's mostly Lego sets, and then I modify them. But like this Union Pacific train, it's a custom instruction kit from Brick Train Depot. So I looked and looked and a bunch of us decided on this one and that's the, that's the one we went with. So. Yeah, it works great. So then we'll move back into the city here and is that uh, Enlarged Palace Cinema? Yes, I think I used four sets on that. And one thing about the modulars from Lego on the corner buildings, they're all the same way. So I inverted that one. It curves the opposite way. So now that I've done that one, I need to do another one so I can put one at the other end. But somebody said, try to do an inverted one. And I was like, okay, why not? It seems challenging enough. And 
that one was one of the hardest, hardest ones that I have expanded. And where it's so so long and narrow, it's real fragile. So it it's a pain in the butt to to pack up the travel, but it's well worth it. Yeah. And then I built a train shed. I use sand green because that's my favorite Lego color. It's a great color. Yeah. I, I like the Lego one, the train shed, but it's got the old grays in it. And they're hard to get. They're expensive. And then I bought uh, one of the Minecraft sets that had all the sand green in it. And as soon as I bought it, I knew what I was going to do with it. I going to use the pieces to make a train shed. And then my wife found the, the idea of the cheese slopes for the roof on Pinterest. So then I was on the hunt for the cheese slopes. <laughs> always more pieces to track down. Yeah, there's always pieces, always pieces. So. I love the, the corner garage building back there. That's so great the way you've added on with the extra kind of garage bays. Yeah, that, I didn't care for that building by itself. And I weighed it and weighed it and weighed it and let other people start to build it and make changes for it. And then my buddy that did the... Uh, fishing shack he done his and I as soon as he done his I was like yeah I know what I'm going to do I'm going to do four doors in the front and it still has the same play function so like when you grab the tire to open the door two doors go up at the same time and then if you do the other side the two doors go up at the same time so it kept all the original all the original play play functions the sand blue wind that scares me every time <laughs> There's a, uh, another big build event where they uh, crashed some Duplo bridges here at the show. But uh, the sand blue windows was tricky to get, so I, I had to buy four sets. Yeah, it looks great, though. Modified, it's even more impressive there. And then some more great trains on display. Yeah, these are two of my favorite Lego set trains, the, the Marisk and the Emerald Knight. So I like to keep them in the train yard. I'd hate to cry if he would knock one off the table because he, he would do it on purpose. <laughs> got to protect the Emerald Knight. Oh, yeah. Got to, got to protect that one. And then uh, another skyscraper over here. That is the, the brick bank. That was the first one that I ever modified. So I liked, I liked the way it looked. The bank part, I didn't care so much for the laundromat part of it, even though I did make the laundry mat bigger as well but once i i started building it and i was like not big enough so i bought more still not big enough so i bought more and then i was like i gotta quit <laughs> so. what, uh, what do we have in the park down here in the park is the tree house and all the figs inside the park is fellow youtubers that's their custom sig fig so I always designate one area in my city for when I display it, I can put the sig figs in it and not get them mixed up with all the other figs. So, cause it's hard to keep track. I've gotten so many now, it's hard to keep track on who's who. And if it's a sig fig, if it's not a sig fig. So my daughter has fun with those, setting them up. I think she's got a few in the tree house. She's got one on top of the tree house. The guy on top of the tree house is Mardi Gras man. So, and uh, there's Bones Bricks. He's riding a skeleton horse in the back. Very unique. Yeah. And then, I don't know why, but it looks like she stuck the classic police officer in there with him this time. So I don't know if that means somebody's going to get in trouble or what. <laughs> a little extra security at the park. Yeah. She, my daughter, when she starts setting things up, she comes up with ideas. I, I did one show and a building didn't make it. The top of it kind of caved in. And it just so happened the building set by the water. So she grabbed a seaplane and stuck it in the hole. Easy Perfect. Fix. Yeah, easy <laughs> fix. And then you've got some great buildings behind there as well. Yeah, that is the assembly square. I think I used two and a half, two and a half of those. It was already a big building in itself, so it, it was a no-brainer to make, to make that one bigger. The only parts that was hard to get was... <clears throat> was the cheese slopes because I'd done it as soon as it came out and that was the new element new element new color or whatever so that part was hard to get yeah. 
And then I, when I switched it over to Mills, I had to rebuild it twice because I kept putting stuff on wrong. And then finally, the expanded diner, which might be one of my definitely one of my favorite buildings on the whole layout here. Yeah, it just I, looks so fantastic. I, I like the diner. As soon as I seen what it was, my mind went straight to work. How am I, how am I going to expand it? How tall am I going to make the glass center? And I started started watching other people, and they were leaning like I was, just going to do the bottom floor and not put the put the top floors on it. And so they built theirs, and I was like, yeah, I like that. So I started building it, and I built it to leave just the first floor and then the arch. And I was like, well, I got all these pieces. So I started building the other floors, and as I started building them, it kept growing on me. And I was like, yeah, I like it. And the hardest part of that was the actual glass because it's in there the way the set has it, but you had to cheat and put one by two pl- clear plates and and whatnot and the car on the top is spin if he wants to spin it around modify some extra features like that yeah that was another idea of my daughter's so in, anytime she's got an idea i try to put it in like the hamburger was her idea she made me go buy the 40 dollar fire truck set just so i can get the hamburger <laughs> it's like i don't know why we probably had the parts in the collection but so this is such an expansive layout. Do you know how long the whole thing is? My part of it is 33 foot long. Wow. My, my goal was to bring 40 feet. I fell just a little bit short. So. How do you transport all that uh, show? I have a trailer sitting behind the, behind the curtain. I load it all in a trailer and take off and go and hope for the best. 